Hey y'all, welcome to welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brianna. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're trying to discover it, thank you so much for coming back. Um, as y'all can tell from the title, today we're gonna be doing a different type of video. I've never done an unboxing video before, but um, I'm very excited to try. Um, apologies if it's not extremely aesthetic or anything. This 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 is a learning process. We're doing this together, you know. But um, today's date is December 26th, meaning that it is the day after Christmas. And for Christmas, I was fortunate enough to receive um, some very special Apple products I'm going to be opening for you guys today. Um, before um, we talk about the Apple products, I wanted to say a huge thank you to my parents um, for being able to purchase these things for me and give me content to make for my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, so huge thank you to my parents because of course they're the ones that purchased these for me um, and they are the ones that keep looking out for me day to day and buying things for me. And I'm really appreciative honestly of all, uh, like even not even on Christmas, but everything that they do for me of course. So yeah without further ado let's get into the video so as y'all could probably tell from the title we have three things that we're going to be unboxing today um we have the ipad fifth gen it's in lilac purple um we have an apple pencil second generation and then we have um an iphone 14 pro max so as for which of these products that we're going to be unboxing first it is going to be the ipad um as i said before this is the fifth gen ipad air um and it's lilac purple because as you guys have like seen from my videos before i was always talking about lilac purple lilac purple i wanted my room theme to be lilac purple and it seems to be a favorite color of mine now so um i'm very grateful that my ipad also came in this color so here's a closer view of the box. It says iPad Air on the side, and then as y'all saw, it's the purple wallpaper. And then I don't know if y'all can see if it's that close up, but it has like a purple lining on the outside, so you know that it's the lilac purple iPad. But um, yeah, on the right side, it has this little thing that we can tear off, and I'm presuming this is what you use. So I'm, I'm gonna try to play the aestheticness of this. So. So this is the box when all the wrapping has been torn off of it. Um, relatively looks the same, <laughs> but yeah, now we just gotta, ooh. are we coming out today? <laughs> the ipad y'all see that nice color that nice little lilac purple color peeking through but you know we're gonna put this aside for now um and we're gonna look inside the box because actually i just realized i've never really like went in depth and like looked at the box and there's no better opportunity than right now to do that so um comes one of these i'm pretty sure inside of it it's really just like the apple sticker and uh the manual that nobody like literally ever reads Ooh, i've never actually seen this before welcome to ipad air so as you can see it has instructions in here for the touch id on the top of it i've actually never had an ipad with touch id before so this is all very cool it's all very different and as i said literally the apple stickers that nobody ever uses <laughs> that just stay in the box forever and ever but they're there inside this thingy moving on to the inside of the box this one actually does come with the charger and the cable as well i know that the phones don't come with chargers anymore but um like i said i haven't even i haven't had an ipad since like the beginning of freshman year so i didn't even know that it came with all this stuff right now but yeah charger the um the 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 lightning charger is supposed to be faster and then the um lightning rod the charger that you actually stick into the thing so yeah Okay, so putting the box away, then we move on to the main event that everyone's been waiting for. The actual iPad itself this is very exciting. I'm Oh, okay, so it peels like back and then it comes forward, I believe. So let's look at the back first. Beautiful lilac purple color. Let me not ruin this. <laughs> Okay. 
we go. We'll just come off just like that. This is So this is the iPad in all its beautiful glory. Um, my iPad that I had previously, I can actually go and get it and put it right side by side. My iPad that I had previously was the one with the button. I've never had one without the button before. Um, this thing, I don't know how old this thing is. I believe that this was like the seventh generation, but it's not an Air. So that's how these two are different. This is like an Air, fifth generation Air. This is not an Air. It was like the seventh generation of whatever time when I had it before. But um, yeah, this is those two iPads side by side and how they look. Obviously this one doesn't have a home, a home button. Um, and then looking at the back, that purple color gonna do it for me every time. Cause look, look at that. Look at this, this is beautiful. Actually, on the back too, I didn't even know that my father did this, but he likes to write little messages on the back most of the time to us. And my iPad on the back, if y'all can see right here, it says, Ikea, Rihanna, with my favorite emoji on the side. Um, that's the brown heart. You can't really tell it's brown here because obviously like, not pretty color <laughs> on the back. But um, yeah, this iPad that I got all those years ago also had a message on the back, but like there was a problem with like the screen. So I'm gonna see if I can find like like a, a video from like four years ago when I got the iPad, but it says something about like um, Merry Xmas and Happy New Year. Um, and like now this doesn't have it on it obviously because like I said, there was a problem with the screen. So they had to like replace the iPad and they didn't like replace the engraving, but it's whatever. Cause we have a new one now and this is so, cute okay so let's turn it on oh and it's dead look at that it's dead okay <laughs> okay y'all so after struggling for like way too long i realized that she needs to use the charger that came with the ipad in the box regular apple chargers will not work for this um like i said this is a learning curve so we're all learning together so now we get an unboxing of the chargers too okay <laughs> Now we get that too, because I was planning to just save these. That's what I've done with all my old iPhones, because like I've, I've had iPhones since middle school, so I've always just saved the chargers. Um, for you know, like I don't know if someone else needs it or if someone breaks eventually, but I guess with this one, we're gonna have to use the charger, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so while the iPad is charging, we're gonna move on to the second thing that we're gonna unbox, which is going to be the Apple Pencil. As I said before, this is the second generation Apple Pencil, which is supposed to be compatible with, um, I, I'm not sure if it's all iPad Airs or like the fourth and fifth gen, I'm not sure like where I read it or something, but I know it's supposed to be compatible with the iPad that I have right now. So yeah, <laughs> that's what we're unboxing right now. Here's the Apple Pencil. You can see on the back that it shows you how it's supposed to attach to the iPad. Um, I'm not really sure that there's a thing that you can tear off of here, so I might have to just like brute force this. So here is the Apple Pencil, and as before, we're gonna set the actual product aside and look what we have in here. I know that my old one came with um, a new pencil head. I'm not sure if this one comes with that too. Uh, this shows you how you can um, pair it to your iPad, because I know it just like sticks on the side. You don't have to like, like insert the bottom like you did with the last one. Um, these are some more tiny instructions that we're not gonna read. <laughs> Um, and then some more instructions. Okay, so 
Oh, it looks like there's nothing else in here. Okay. Well, it just comes with the instructions on how to pair it to the iPad, I guess, and that's pretty much it. Moving on to the actual Apple Pencil. As y'all can see, branding, okay? The name is on here too. Thank you very much to my parents again. Um, Cause you had the option to have an engraving on here and y'all know we grab Rihanna, fur. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically just taking it out. It has a little wrapping on it. And here it is. Aquariana, period. Okay, make sure it's focusing. Aquariana, period. <laughs> By this time, I believe that my iPad should have some juice on it. So yes, here's the iPad again. It's still plugged in, but it has a little bit of juice on it to be able to function. So let's test out that thingy that I said is supposed to be able to stick on the back. Of oh, okay. Just like that. This is cute. This is cool. I'm just trying to start setting this thing up. Of course, English, <laughs> United States. Your current iPhone or iPad near this. Okay, so I, can I use my old iPad for this? Let me go get my old iPad. Let's see about, oh, okay. Continue. And it's having us set up the Touch ID. I don't know what finger to use on these things. I usually always use my thumb, but then that's like the most inconvenient. I think that your pointer finger is the most convenient finger. Oh, now we're creating a passcode. Okay, so they finally finished transferring over. And I need to enter my passcode. Oh, that's cool. So then everything that was on here is on here. It's the same app layout and everything. Um, I definitely plan to like redo this and maybe like, I don't know, customize a little bit more. But um, yeah, for now, everything that was on here is on here and everything's all set. Let's actually test out this Apple Pen now that this is all set up. Um, let's go to notes and just like do some scribble. That, that's not my name, but yeah, it, it writes smooth. That's, that's not the... <laughs> and then last but not least, we have the long-awaited iPhone. I'm really excited for this. I've never gotten like a colored iPhone before well i mean like that's a lie i have i have gotten a colored iphone before but that was in like seventh grade that was like my second iphone the iphone 7 i had like like a gold one and that's like the only colored iphone i've ever had i've always just had silver iphones and like that was always safe because it just like it like it meshes a lot with like a lot of cases you can have like a bunch of different cases it usually like works with it or whatever and we have like a colored phone it's like oh you can't do some colored cases because then it would like look weird but um we have a purple ipad might as well have a deep purple phone now so i'm very excited for this because you know this is a little bit out of my comfort zone now for this long awaited iphone this doesn't have the um the wrapping around it like the ipad or the apple pencil did because i think that they're trying to be like more eco-friendly hence why the box is also smaller because it doesn't have the lightning rod in it but i think that that's been going on for like the last like three phones so like we're used to it at this point i guess but um yeah let's just tear away at it and there she is in beauty herself okay the deep purple color here it is here it looks fresh out the box oh that is nice that is very nice <laughs> that's very glimmery too it's very nice but as we did before, let's move the actual product away from the camera for a little bit. And let's look inside the box. <laughs> um, pretty sure with this Apple sticker, right? 
Apple sticker and then um, and information about the fact that there's no longer a physical SIM card. I think that that's been going on for a few phones too. My last phone also now have a SIM card and then the patent pended Apple sticker. And then the rod, but it doesn't come with the head, like I said before. Then let's look at the actual phone itself. Like I said, it's very glimmery, deep purple. I'm loving this color, honestly. Like I said, it's a huge step outside of my comfort zone to get a phone that's not silver. So yeah, let's peel it off. And look at that. This is the cleanest it'll ever be. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. You see how like it fades purple too because it's the purple phone because I noticed that with all the other phones It's like a mix of colors, but this it's the purple background and then the hello in different colors Ooh, Set it up English United States and then we can bring our old phone next to it to be able to set it up Any Bluetooth on? <laughs> There we go Just gonna load that little blue circle again on. Okay, here we go. And I have a lot of stuff on this phone, so I know that this is definitely going to take a minute. <laughs> okay, so it finished setting up the um, eSIM and now it wants me to do face ID. Y'all see this? This is gonna take an hour and 45 minutes transfer all the stuff from my old phone to this new phone. And to be honest, that's to be expected because I have a lot of stuff on that phone. I guess we have no other option at this point. <laughs> Two hours later. So as it says here, it says that the apps will still continue. After that two hours of downloading, that the apps will still continue to be downloading in the background. I need to put in my Apple ID password. And it sent a code to another Apple device of mine. <clears throat> okay, so this has downloaded most of my stuff from before. It has all my 10 different lock screens of myself from my old phone on it. Um, new phone, I feel like changing it just this minute. We gonna go with this one cause it's colorful. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. We've unboxed everything that we said we're gonna box. All right, y'all, now that the phones are finished, I did wanna show you guys like a side-by-side -side of them um, since they're carbon copies of each other now. Of course, like the difference is the color. I've never tried a color phone before, so I'm very excited for that. Um, this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max in case I never mentioned what phone I had previously. And this is the iPhone 14 Pro Max, obviously. Um, I think that the camera protrudes a little bit more because when you like lay them flat, like this one tilts a little bit more on the angle because like the camera's like out and doesn't make it lay flat while well, this one does lay flat. Um, and then of course the, the top notch is like a little removed in this one while well, this one it connects to the top. So apart from that, I don't really see that much differences in the phone. That wasn't really expected honestly, but I don't really see that much differences. So yeah. All right, y'all, so that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, a big shout out to my parents for supplying me with necessary materials to be able to film this video and decking me out with all new Apple gear for my next four years of college. So yeah, thank you so much again for everyone who's watching this video and I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video.